The space heating need for Denbydale is calculated in PHPP at 10 watts per meter squared. So we've got 118 square meters of floor area. Times that by 10, we've got 1.18 kilowatts, the equivalent of a one bar electric fire. So you can see how efficient we are. When Jeff and Kate came to visit us in the spring of 2007 to ask about building their house, they envisaged a dormer bungalow with renewables all over the roof, PV panels, solar panels and so forth. We persuaded them that the passive house route was more cost effective i.e. putting your resources into the fabric as opposed to into expensive bolt-ons. Now what happened after we had started the build was that Jeff and Kate, luckily for them, managed to get some funding for renewables and so we've ended up with PV panels and also solar thermal which heats our hot water. Originally we were going to use a condensing combination boiler um, but since we've now got solar thermal we're using a, an even simpler natural gas appliance, um, the system boiler. Although we only need that um, just over one kilowatt for the space heating, we actually need three kilowatts for direct hot water. There's no difference with a passive house and any other in that need. There is a big problem um, in acquiring a small enough um, boiler to cope with the heating need that we have. We've ended up with a valent Ecotech system boiler which is, has the ability to be governed down to 4.8. Again, too large for what we need. But um, in terms of cost, this was the most economic uh, solution. Modern equipment such as combination boilers and system boilers which have their own integral expansion vessel of course helps us in our air tightness because we don't have to have the old-fashioned header tank in the, the attic with all that puncturing of the vapour and air tightness barrier. One of my concerns with the system that we're putting in is that the boiler will not be able to cope with the the um, smallness of the system if you like um, in in its volume of water we don't want the boiler cycling where it's off and on off and on so we've compromised and come up with um, four bits of equipment okay one is the duct heater and that's a radiator within the supply side of the MVHR where you transfer um, heat from the hot water going through the heat exchanger into the ventilated air. Um, we have two towel radiators, one in the bathroom and one in the shower room for comfort and for drying towels. But I've also insisted on uh, one more small radiator in the living room just to um, make sure that the 4.8 capacity boiler um, has enough volume in the system. One question that always comes up concerning passive houses is how do you dry clothes, how do you dry wet towels, how do you dry the, the wet dog that comes in from a winter's walk. Passive houses tend to be dry, if anything. Um, I mean, have a dry atmosphere because of the nature of the MVHR system. Um, and if we do have a problem at Demi Dale, by the way, we're going to suggest having house plants, which Jeff and Kate are quite happy about. Um, but time will tell. The towel radiators, we realise, will only come on very rarely actually if we're looking for it being linked with the space heating need therefore we've actually used dual fuel types um, 
where we have an electrical element in them as well.